Can you tell me your name, title, and your role at this program? Yes, uh, my name is Tony Garcia. I am the program manager for Comprehensive, uh, Comprehensive Soldier and Family Fitness for U.S. Army Europe, but really the Army of Europe, all Army Europe, all Army units within Europe. And what is your role with the, this yoga program? With the yoga program. This is a cooperative between Lieutenant Colonel Story and uh, myself. So I represent USER because we're the headquarters who could make these courses happen, but it goes beyond U.S. Army Europe uh, to Regional Health Command Europe because our funding stream came through MedCom and Regional Health Command Europe, and our other cooperative partner is Installation Management Command. So it's just people within those organizations trying to make something good happen. How did, you, how did you get involved with the course? Long, long story. I'm a yoga teacher. I uh, have been teaching for over a decade. And as a lieutenant colonel in the Army, as I was about to retire, I found yoga because of an injury. And as I started to teach, one of the first things that you realize is, this is good for me. I'd like to make it good for others. So as I work in Comprehensive Soldier and Family Fitness, we've developed a program we call CAM, Complementary Alternative Medicine. And the two courses that are in CAM are Integrative Restoration, or iRest, and then what we call Yoga Warrior, which is a five-day yoga course to train soldiers, civilians, uh, to become beginning level yoga teachers and take it back to their community or their unit. What is the, what's the reach of this course? How many people does it affect? We have the potential to fill 125 yoga teachers because we're going to do five courses of 25 throughout Europe. And with IRES, we have a population of 25, so 150 members of the USER or UCOM AOR community are going to benefit from this. So from that 150, it can exponentially grow to we have no idea what we're going to be bound by. A single yoga teacher can take it to a number of students who hopefully will then take it to a number of students, to a number of students, and then it'll just go on. And that's really what we want. How does, how does the skills that they learn in these courses help them in their everyday life? So I call it operationalize. And, and my program talks about how do you operationalize resilience training. This is just one more skill or technique or, you know, we say tool in the, in the kit bag or whatever. This is just one more thing. So here's how they're going to use it in their daily life. Two ends of the spectrum. I have a high performer over here, and I have somebody who's just struggling to survive over here. If I'm struggling, I can take what I've learned in integrative restoration or I rest and apply it to my daily life. If I can't feel an emotion or part of my body, there are techniques within I rest that will train me to do that. And if I embody or incorporate them, I can help with self-therapy. So that's one end of the spectrum. Let's take the high performer. I'm an athlete, I'm a professional, fast mover, whatever I define myself as. These techniques can make that performer or that person, that soldier, family member, whoever, better. And the way they do that is a way I've kind of incorporated it. We have difficulty slowing down. So for probably four years now, I've used methods that have kind of come from my rest every single day to spend five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to slow myself down. Because if I don't, I make mistakes. If I start to do things quickly and become frustrated, I'm gonna make a mistake. So if I can learn to just slow down and become deliberate, and I'm at this end, I just do better, I perform better. Whatever my job is, is better. 
whatever I'm doing in my family life is better. And what I'm, you know, I'm doing in just my recreation is better. Your life just gets better. What do you say to a commander that might be reluctant to incorporate something like yoga into their PT program? Or right. The resiliency. So that's hard because we, we, I find a lot of resistance, but that resistance is going away. I've had command sergeant majors at two-star level commands tell me as he sees his unit in yoga, I want more of that. The Army has progressed to not talking about this because it's something I don't understand to, uh, you know, I'm kind of interested now, can you talk to me about that? I'm kind of interested now, can you, uh, I've had soldiers come back from yoga in other courses that USER has promoted, and now I want a teacher. So uh, if the unit or the leader is reluctant, here's what I tell them, hey, well, come on into a class. We have classes in almost every fitness center throughout US Army Europe, and so do other um, installations, whether they be Air Force or Navy. Go to a class. Two things are gonna happen. Either you're gonna like it, or you're gonna dismiss it. The first time I went to yoga, I dismissed it. Too easy, not doing this, going back to functional fitness. And then, the second time I went, as a result of being injured, I could, this is gonna be, this has worked out for me. I enjoyed it, it increased, and here I am. So, they just have to try it. They have to be open to it. Otherwise, you're gonna shut you out and your entire unit. Anything else you wanna add, sir? No, thank you uh, for doing this with us. It's, uh, it's uh, hopefully a program that's gonna grow.